Hello, and welcome to the Biomass Magazine podcast. I'm your host, Anna Simmet. And joining me today on the podcast is Holger Streets of Baton AG, all the way from Germany. Holger, welcome to the podcast. Hi, Anna. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Why don't we begin today, um, Holger, with having you tell our listeners a little bit about your background in the wood pellet industry and what it is you do at Baton. Of course. Sure. Well, um, Baton is a Swiss company that uh, is manufacturing ceramic lubricants. Um, they are high performance lubricants and we kind of specialized in the pelleting industry, providing not only the lubricant itself that saves 95% uh, of, of volume while increasing the performance like lifetime of bearings due to wear reduction. We also have our own team of service engineers um, providing whether it's maintenance, repair jobs, spare parts, consulting and training of staff. Um, I oversee everything as board member and COO of Batan, and um, I am at the um, at the edge between business and and technical uh, stuff. I also oversee international markets and and market expansion which is why since 2014, I am a regular uh, visitor and speaker at the IBC. You sure are. And that's a great segue for us to chat about on the conference, which is coming up. Uh, it's February 28th through March 2nd in Atlanta. You'll be there speaking on a panel as usual. And I'm really looking forward to um, this year's panel. It's called An Overview of the Art of Making Wood Pellets. So let's talk a little bit about this two-part question. First, why don't you um, explain a little bit who might be particularly interested in the panel and why? And then how about moving into sort of an overview of what to expect, who's on the panel, and you know what are they going to be chatting about? Absolutely. So it actually started last year uh, when we were in uh, Jacksonville um, at the IBC 2022, where um, Mike Kersey, Timo Muller, and Jace, Jason Kessler and I um, had a panel together. And we were talking afterwards how there is no real education program for wood pelleting. It does exist for feed production. So they're closer to practical learning. It includes that they have pellet mills in universities and other uh, um, educational institutions where the students are able to get some practical insights into feed pelleting. Mm -hmm. um, this is something that the wood industry is still lacking. So you have either no education at all, or you are coming in as an electrician, as a welder, as, as a handyman. Um, so we thought, why not put something together, which is like, like a pelleting 101 that go, follows the whole process. So everybody who works in a pellet plant um, at a certain um, spot, whether it is material intaking, handling, size reduction, the pelleting process itself, or the cooling and storage, or you're on the maintenance team, we want to address all those people, whether they are newcomers and they are trying to expand their knowledge um, to different parts of the facility, or also for seasoned um, professionals to get a better insight and some food for, for your brain to, to think about some improvement aspects. There will be with me together Kyle Hoffman of CPM. Um, he will start with the material preparation, which is basically um, everything from receiving the raw material um, either cleaning it if you work for uh, residential heating, because then you have to debark your, your uh, locks. Um, it is about size reduction, about conveyors, uh, mainly about hammer mill performance and maintenance. Um, Timo Muller of Salmatec, 
um, which is also um, a pellet mill manufacturer from Germany. He will be um, speaking about the pelleting process itself, how it is set up, how it is um, efficiently done. Um, he will be followed by Jason Kessler of Kesco. I think he's very well known uh, within the, the industry. He will be speaking about cooling and storing pellets um, and the tweaks and, and hiccups that can occur and where you're, you have to be uh, uh, aware of, of any upcoming or potential uh, issues you might have. And then me, I will be speaking about the maintenance um, at the different um, spots of your pellet plant, um, talking about a solid maintenance plan, uh, what to take care of most, um, how to um, be more of a preventative maintenance guy rather than a reactive um, maintenance, and, and what are the cost and benefit of this. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a very well-rounded panel. Um, you know, Holger, obviously we have time constraints um, with these panels. If there was anything else or another component you could add to this panel, what would it be? Um, I would add maybe packaging um, sec mm -hmm. uh, section, because whether it is bulk or bags, there is a huge difference, of course. Uh, it's much easier to just bulk fill your either rail uh, wagons or, or trucks. But when it, when it comes to bagging, it's, 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 a, it's an art of itself. Um, and um, of course, there's there's a lot of uh, issues that can happen, um, but this maybe would be something to add. Thank you. Great answer. Um, so my final question for you, Holger, is I know that you travel quite a bit in your job. What's your favorite part of traveling internationally for work? When I travel internationally for work, I actually enjoy just that time off line when you are in the in the airplane. So you're able to really either focus on on your work without any disturbances from calls, emails or whatsoever. Um, or especially when I'm flying back eastbound from the US to to Germany just to get some good sleep. <laughs> because jet lag can be a real pain. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I think with that, we'll uh, wrap it up, Holger. Thank you so much for joining us today. I really look forward to catching up at the conference and to your panel. Yes, perfect. Thanks a lot, Anna and Danielle. I'm looking forward to meeting you again in Atlanta. And um, yeah, also Kyle, uh, Timo and Jason. Um, uh, I think it's going to be very interesting. It's going to be great. Um, so thanks again. And to our listeners, learn more about the conference at www.biomassconference.com. Pella producers do get in free. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time.